Hello friends, in this particular video, I am going to talk about YouTube. Well, we all are very much addicted to YouTube. So I thought of making a small video where I will be creating one app and that app will be fetching data from triple uh, zero web host in a form of a JSON and that JSON parsing will be done and, and finally it will extract the exact URL and then it will activate that URL in the form of a video player in my application. And you can see it's getting rendered right now. So finally what happened is the application will get launched very soon. So in this particular video, we will be covering up at first that you have to create one account in the website called console.developer.google.com, okay? Well, in between, let me just see the thing didn't work out. So let me just give a uh, stop the emulator and let me run the emulator once again. And definitely it will get executed next time. So over here, I have to create one project reference. This is very much required for uh, generating an application related to YouTube. So over here, if you click, this is my current application that is going on. You have to create one new project over here. It's very simple. So once you have created a new project, right now I'm working on this particular project. That's the reason there's a tick mark over here. Uh, I'm on, I'm very sorry to say that I cannot click this credential option. Let me just check out over here. I cannot click the still it is not getting displayed. This is something uh, this is what I have seen that at time it creates they will create creates a problem, you know. Let me keep on trying at some point of time definitely it will get worked. So I cannot click the credential because this credential will provide me an API key which I need to associate in my application. So if you click this one, you will get a dialog box over here where from you will be copying the API key and that you need to embed in your application. In fact, I, I, I did this in my application as well. For that reason, what I have done is that I've created one class file called configure and inside that configure, I have created one variable and within that variable, I've pasted my API. So I'm sorry to say that I, I couldn't show you that API over here, okay? Uh, I think I have to close the emulator and then try out once again. Okay, this is something what actually happened at time okay i'm sorry for this interruption okay so uh, for particular uh, youtube display you need to create one special widget okay that particular widget you will be getting it through this particular namespace when you add this namespace you will be getting it so the widget goes is right over in my xml file so that's this is a widget i'm talking about youtube player view so this is the special widget which you need to add in your project then only you will be able to view your video right within this particular component and this particular id i have associated in my main dot dot main activity dot java i'm sorry to, i have to close this configure because as i said inside this i have my api key, okay so you can see over here i have created the reference variable of the youtube player video and this is a player view this is a reference variable and I said that I have added my uh, my address. The address, I hope the system is working. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's coming. Then the, here you can see the, the, the address that actually got popped up from my JSON file. So let me click this particular button. And this particular button will drive the, uh, the URL which you saw just a few minutes back in the form of a toast message. And then this particular URL has been sent uh to this particular to this youtube and from there it has been buffering the whole video and finally the video will come over here so this is the video which i have added over here. So if i click this the video will start to play i don't know whether it is audible to you or not but actually video is being getting played off okay so this is a video that is getting displayed over here so uh, coming back to the code once again so this is my uh, path where i have created the json file so let me go to my triple zero web host this is my triple zero web host file let me open this particular file and inside this particular file i have created my json array and within the json array i have created one json object and over here this is my key and within that i have embedded this url so this is the url that is there okay if i copy this url and if you just keep uh, if i paste it over here then you will find the same video getting played right over here. This was the video that is getting played off, okay? 
uh, to give you a kind of information that in the YouTube, this is a portion that always remains static. This is something that is very dynamic. So if I click some of the video, you will find that this portion will actually get changed. The rest of the portion is actually stays this very same. Okay. So coming back to this once again, uh, in the main activity, we know that we always extend the app comp activity, but in this case, we won't be doing it. We will be extending YouTube base activity. So YouTube has produced uh, some of, of, an, uh, of a particular class, which is very special to the YouTube itself. And it is implementing an interface by called YouTube player, which has got another interface inside that is called on initialize listener. The moment we'll add this interface immediately, it will give you an error message because this interface has got two abstract method which I need to overwrite, which in fact I did it over here. The abstract method is called on initialization success and on initialization failure. So these two abstract methods are there. Okay. I will tell you the body of this method, nothing to worry about it. So let's get back to this. Since I already said that I'm using the JSON in the form of triple uh, zero web host where my page is web service is residing. So I need to create a reference variable where the data will be getting stored in the form of buffer input stream. Okay. So here my data will be getting stored and from there I have to go for JSON parsing. Okay. And I already said that I have a widget uh, in my XML file and the reference of that widget I have declared over here called YouTube player view. So this is a reference variable. I've on a button which you saw just now. If I click the button, then the video only started. And this particular button has got an on click. If you see over here, it has got an on click. So checked. So let me go to the check function. Here is my check function. But before I define the body of the check function, I need to tell you one more thing. That is, after the on create method gets executed, it gives a call to a method called collect data. Well, that's the method which I have created. Okay. So what is there? This is a method where actually the JSON parsing is done. So to the help of my web service, I'm creating a new URL and to the help of HTTP protocol that URL will get activated and I'm passing it in the form of a post method. And finally, just a few minutes back, you saw that I have a reference variable called buffer input stream where all the data is getting saved. Okay, so here it is. So that is a portion of connection. And after that, we have to fetch the data from this particular reference variable and for that reason i'm using input stream reader buffer reader and eventually i'm using a string builder and finally the string builder will pass the data to a string variable that is called result so you can see the entire data is right over here so this data i mean to say the whole entire data now i have to go for json parsing so i have to create a json array and within that json object is there so if you see uh, the browser if, uh, if I come over here so this is my JSON array within that I have a JSON object and in that I have got a key which I need to extract so I'm extracting the key whose name is URL and I'm storing into a variable called URL so this particular variable also is a string tag which I've declared at the very beginning you can see right over here so this string variable is the variable that actually contains the address okay and I have given the call to that method on the on create. That means before I do anything, the variable URL already got initialized, and that's a very important thing. Okay, because the moment I will click the button, the moment I will be clicking the button, it will give a call to the check method. The variable initialization has to be done, and that is what I did over here at the very beginning. You saw now the method is initialize it's a call that is a youtube view widget that we have already declared at the top so this was the widget that is giving a call and this is something very important so here i'm passing two arguments the first argument is the api this api which is created right over here okay which i said that i'm sorry i couldn't click the credential and this particular api app store inside the class called config within that I have a static variable and there where I've stored this particular API. So that is the first argument. The second argument is called this. So this particular thing will invoke the first method that is called on initialization success. Well, let me tell you, there are two methods on initial success and on initialization failure. Any one will definitely get executed. You cannot expect that both will be getting executed. Over here, you have a Boolean variable was restored and that is what I'm checking that if it, anything is not restored, it's not restored, then I will be 
executing the method called q video this is a method i will be executing and there where i will pass the url variable which already at the json parsing i initialize so that particular variable already has the address of my video which i want to search or which i want to view well i can give a call to this method called q video or i could have given a call to a method called load video okay so these two methods are available anyone will be doing it if any kind of error takes place then definitely this method is responsible for execution well I tried to make the video short but it became a little bit of lengthy okay so that's what the whole thing is all about and finally you saw my video getting executed from help of the JSON parsing so that's all for this video okay uh, in any kind of assistance from my end is required don't feel hesitate to write at the comment section request me if you need this code I will be sending this code via mail so that's all for this video i wish your very best for you all let's wait for my next video until then have a nice time